Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you the best mosquito uh, eliminator. It really is an eliminator. It's not even a repellent. It's actually an attractant. But it is the best mosquito product that I've ever used. Uh, I got it on Amazon. Uh, this, I think, is kind of the off-brand. Uh, Home Depot sells a more popular brand that a couple people have done videos on. And to be honest with you, my Home Depot was, was out. So I went on Amazon and I looked and it appears to be the same thing. Uh, I got it about a month ago. I've just gotten another one here because I'm gonna add uh, two more outside. Um, and also because of where I'm putting them, you may wanna get these little hooks uh, because it really helps to hang it. Uh, the hanger that comes with it really doesn't have a wide enough uh, mouth to, to go over a fence, for instance, which is where I'm putting mine. I'll show you in a minute, but anyway, stay tuned. I'll show you how these work and we'll fill them up, put them outside. They're amazing. Stay tuned. Here's what you get in the box. It's just two of these things. Uh, they're in a cylinder and uh, they have lids on them, screw on lids, and then they have caps. Uh, it's got some instruction uh, with facts. And uh, all you do is unscrew the, the lid and fill this up with warm water. It's got like a salt, baking soda, oatmeal, I don't even know. They put a little date here, or a little line where you can put the date. But what you do is you fill this up with warm water. Uh, they say if you don't use warm water, it'll still work, but in order to get everything to it dissolve uh, instantly, they want you to use warm water. So I just use hot water out of the tap, um, fill it up to here, the fill level, put this cap on, shake it, um, and then you switch out the caps. So I'm just gonna go fill it with warm water. Hold on, be right back. All right, now that I filled it up, you can see the water level right here. I'll shake it a little bit. Uh, put this cap back on, shake it. It is uh, waterproof. You don't need to worry about it leaking. Shake it really good and you can kind of see through the bottle. There we go, see that? You can see it dissolves very quickly. Give it a good shake. Then we're going to unscrew the old cap. It doesn't actually smell like anything. See down in there? There's little bubbles from just the, you know, shaking it. And then you put this cap on. And this cap, has uh, holes in it and the threads are really good and solid you know it's not gonna fall apart what is not so great is this thing right here this comes off and that's all that's holding it on it's not very heavy whoops it's not very heavy but um, it isn't the greatest hanger in the world uh, but see the gap here is so tight that um, you know I know why they do this because you know if it starts blowing around uh, but to hang it where I wanted to hang it, I got these little black aluminum uh, S-hooks uh, to hang it on my fence. We'll go outside and I'll show you where I hang it. Uh, but all you have to do is keep the water level between these two lines. Now, I live in Florida. It rains right now every freaking day. That's one of the reasons why we have so many mosquitoes. Uh, I will say that it does seem like rainwater gets in here and maintains a certain height. Uh, but let's go outside and hang it, and I'll give you some tips on where to hang it. Uh, but that's all there is to it. You are now ready to put it outside. Amazing. Amazingly simple. All right, ready to go outside. I'm not going to hold these by the top because I'm, well, I guess I will. I hope I don't regret it. Uh, I don't want that to fall, but let's go outside. And uh, by the way, I'm not sponsored by this company in any way. I just think it's a... Great product. Oops. Oh, man, door weighs a ton. Um, 
I think it's a great product. I've had them for, we are now on week three. So first week, there was really no difference. The second week was uh, a noticeable difference. We're now in week three and it's just an incredible difference. So this is the area down here by the dock that we sit. And this is the area that I want to be free of mosquitoes uh, right down here. So I put them way over in the corner of the yard there and way up here. And uh, the, they say that an acre, that's my lychee tree, I just put that in. So sometime in my lifetime, maybe I'll get lychees. Anyway, I put one right over here. Um, I'm gonna actually hang, I'm gonna hang the other one. You know, I'm gonna hang it just right here in the same spot. Um, I need two hands to do it, so just give me one second. So here they are, you can hang them uh, so that you can see the water level. And this one has been out here for three weeks, raining every day, and the water level is still uh, at the mark that it should be. This area has shade in the morning and then shade in the evening. It really only has sun overhead, uh, but there's these giant trees. So they say you really do want to put them in the shade. Let's go all the way across the yard to the other one. They say to put it in the shade because if it's in direct sunlight all day, it'll just evaporate. And like I mentioned, they cover an acre. Uh, this property is not an acre by any means. So uh, they just want you to get it as far away from, uh, as far away from where you're going to sit as possible because they actually attract the mosquitoes. So here's the one that I put uh, out here the other day and or three weeks ago, I mean. And I can see that it is uh, in the sunlight. I just noticed that. So what I'm gonna do is move it over to here, right there. And that way it, it's, it's just more in the shade. And then this one, I'm gonna stick actually way up here. And, uh, you know, we don't normally ever come over here. Just put these bushes in the other day. But I'm gonna hang this one right here. And uh, this will be more in the sunlight than other ones. I may move this. Um, let's think for a minute. So that sun is really gonna beat on this. Yeah, I don't think this is a good place for it anymore. I'm just going to stick the other one over here right next to it, just like I did across the yard there. I'm just going to try them here. I put two of them right next to each other. And it's where we sit is way over there. You know, the boats are there and it's really almost the furthest I can get it. Uh, but that's all there is to it. Totally easy, uh, environmentally safe. Uh, if it falls over, and your dog drinks it, uh, they say that it's not gonna hurt your animals. I just love this space. Uh, the only thing that sucks about it is the mosquitoes. The only other thing that we have for mosquitoes is these things, which are really incredible. Uh, the problem is you have to uh, come out here and ignite this thing. This is a thermocell. You have to ignite it and let it sit out here for about 15, 20 minutes before it's really, really working. Um, if we have people over, we'll put uh, one on each of these little benches here, uh, little, little uh, tables, I mean. And they work really, really well. You just have to remember, see it matches the fridge, isn't that cool? Uh, you just have to remember to um, come out here and light them. I wish the thermocell would create something that ran off of 110. By the way, if anybody in the, in the comments, if there's a mosquito repellent, that works off 110. Well, we've got outlets all over the friggin' place. I could easily wire in a uh, Wi-Fi switch, and then we could turn it on from the phone 20 minutes or so before we're ready to come outside, and it would work. We forget to do this, and then we're out here. Uh, but since I've installed these eradicators, you can see right now that there's no mosquitoes. I mean, there's literally no mosquitoes out here right now, and that's just from 
the two of them. Uh, so adding two was probably an overkill, but you know, I subscribe to the more is better program. Anyway, if you have any uh, better ideas for getting rid of mosquitoes, please leave them in the comments. I re reply to every single comment and I really do appreciate them. I really appreciate the uh, channel support. Uh, so I hope that you found this video useful. And uh, if you're looking for a mosquito remedy, these suckers are amazing. You can see them right there. They work really well. As always, thanks for watching.